Hallelujah. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 1. We're still on uh, the law of Moses in the new covenant, or the new covenant in the law of Moses. Now, have you ever wondered why they call a church meeting a church service? You hear things like Sunday service, Tuesday service. Why do you think it's called service? Because the very idea of God's temple is to come to serve. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, Paul writes to Timothy, he says that thou mayest know how you ought to behave. Then he says where? In the house of God. That's what he calls it. The church of the living God. He calls it the pillar and ground of truth. So this is the house of God. In 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, Paul says, Know you not that you are the temple of God. And he's referring to the gathering of believers. And the spirit of God is dwelling in you. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. So we have, we have to look away from the meeting venue and look at the purpose. This is a temple. And the reason for going into the temple is to serve. So the old timers therefore called it church service. Which means that when you come to a church meeting like this, you come to serve. I'm serving by teaching you this morning. Somebody led the prayer. Somebody, some people led the songs. I also joined them. Some people were responsible for how you got seated where you are now. Some are at the car park looking out, out for your cars and other things. Some, <laughs> there's no only cars that are there. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> some are at the children's church also serving. Some are behind the, all the things we're using. Someone is responsible. Why? Because that's what the temple is about. You take responsibility. That's why the idea of staying online to attend church is of utmost ridiculous or ridiculousness. Allow my grammar. And he responsible. You cannot. You ought to serve. You ought to be in the church as God's servant to serve. So if you say you went to a church service and all you did was to sit down and leave, you lied. Because service means you made yourself available to help others. It means that there's something others are taking from you. That's why Paul says in 1 Corinthians 11, when he wrote to them about from about verse 17 about when they come together says not for the better but for the worse that some they have they have to give but they don't give he says they are bringing judgment on themselves because you have to come to church to serve church is not about you it's about you i just want to come and get my blessing my blessing my blessing i want to come and connect uh, like you are a telephone or a charger can to come and connect. When I connect, then I refire for retire, whatever. Rubbish. You come to serve. What, what have you done this morning to serve in this house? It's your father's house. Say, this is my father's house. I don't think I heard this is my father's house. So you have to serve. I love what someone said on Friday. I was in a meeting and the way she spoke about the offering blessed me. She said, if your father, as you say, or your, uh, or your son, or daughter, or sibling, or someone close to you, say, ah, I need um, 5,000 naira, or I need to get uh, something, you have it. And you say, okay, let me pray about it. You say, what did you just say? I want to pray about it. Pray about what? Pray about whether to give you what you asked. You're ready to serve because you know you have responsibility. This is God's house, our Father's house. You didn't attend a church service if all you did was to come and hear the word of God and go. A church service means you are available to serve others. So the next time you're coming, whether it's the Wednesday service or the Sunday service, 
or the cell group meetings or fellowship center meetings, ask yourself, how am I serving today? You must serve. A Christian is not, you are not, like, like something uh, John F. Kennedy, the president of America, United of America, he said, don't ask what your country should do for you. You should ask, what can I do for my country? I know that happens a lot. A lot of people are always saying, this country, this country, this church, this church, this place, this, okay, now are you not part of the country? Are you not part of the church? What are you doing? What's the role you are playing? Except to more, more complain and criticize. What else are you doing in the church of God? Some of them, you see them on social media. They are commenting on every man of God, every church you ask, so God, come. What are you doing in the body of Christ? Well, I have a personal relationship with God. It's not just personal relationship. It's account officer. Nonsense. You are having nowhere to serve. That's why you have time to criticize all over the place. You are not serving. And every time people are made to serve, they're made to serve, their criticism will reduce. I remember someone in this church years back, I'm sure about 16 years ago, we had... The, the living world media then the department was uh, held by Pastor I. Pastor I is not the pastor in the Bible. So he used to go and dub the tapes. So he would leave. I think we were having the believers convention that year. So he was he would leave the convention to go and dub the tapes in the Kedja. So he would come back. Sometimes he would miss some of the sessions to bring the tapes. I think we had CDs there, I think. So I now went to one of the one of the, I think at the end of the meeting or so one of the sessions, I went towards the living world media stand. Then I saw somebody was complaining. Where are you? Are you? Where is my CD? Where is my CD? I, 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 I know some brethren, they don't know when not to raise their voice. Anywhere they can raise their voice. They think they are praising God. <laughs> raise your voice. Say, what? Where is my CD? So I said, hold on, what's going on? Sir, three months ago was when I paid for this CD. I said, oh, so sorry. So I said, how you come here? Was the pastor then? I said, what happened? He said, I'm so sorry, sir. That's Pastor, you know. So I, I said, give her the CD now. Go get it. So I said, go get it now. So I waited there. So he went. Somehow, somehow, I don't know how he manufactured it. Well, everybody knows how he manufactured things like that. Particularly when the pastor says, get it for me. Amen. <laughs> it happens everywhere in the world, right? <laughs> so he went and got the CD and brought it. So she took it and said, thank you, sir. She's so happy. So she was about to leave. I said, come, come, come. You can't live like that. For the CD to have taken that long to be produced, that means there's a shortage of staff in that department in the church. There's a vacancy. Since you saw the need, make yourself available. My pastor back then, the church I used to uh, work with, he said something years back, 93 I think, he said, it's not he that sees a need that is blessed, it's he that meets the need. Okay, so I said, now that you have seen that great need, great need, this is your father's house. You don't blame anyone for what happens in your father's house because it's your father's house. So I said, make yourself available in this department. That was the last time she complained. Because when you are now involved in that department, you will not have anything to complain about. You will see what goes into it. Am I right? Oh, you know I'm right. Aha, uh -huh. I will soon be lying. So you know I'm really right. Aha, uh -huh. you will not have a, a reason to complain because you are now involved. You know what it means to be here early before every other person. You know what it means to wait behind when everyone is gone to take care of the church auditorium. You know what it means when you see those kind of things. And then when you start to lead people as a pastor, you know what it means for people to say, we're coming to church now. Not you, you are here. And then they put up their phones. What happened? My battery died. But you are alive. Yeah, we well, was trying to get it charged. If I knew it, time was over. You know? And you still have to be there. You have that in your mind. You're thinking about fuel. How do I cut my strip short? How do I fill my tank? And somebody else is giving you problems by saying the phone battery died. And you have to pray. You cannot react badly. 
Someone now says, I need you to come. Can I, can I, can I see you, sir? Say, not now. The person now says, is this a man of God? He, can't, I can't, he, he cannot even be available for me to see him. You have fuel problem. You have disciple that's lying problem. You have, and then somebody says, he's not even available to see. You know, because <laughs> those are the things. I'm just talking about a scenario of three people. Imagine 100, 200, 500. You will now appreciate it. When you start to serve, you will criticize less. Because you are now involved. Is that okay? So ensure you are serving. Tell some observers, ensure you are serving. Hallelujah.